Hi there guys, it's Rob here. Um, I'm just going to tell you a bit about uh, Flex EV, which is the new software I've been writing. Um, we're going to release hopefully on June the 1st next year. Um, there'll be a Kickstarter campaign coming soon. Um, but I've spent quite a while on it and um, today what I'm going to do is um, show you how I would go about tracking Eric Cartman in, um, in South Park in a video. So um, first thing to do is to um, take a video read, uh, it just literally reads video from a file. Um, it could be any different file and you can even use uh, raw bitmaps or images as long as they're numbered it will read them out in sequence. Um, so I'm just going to pick one. Um, let's go for an episode of South Park. Um, There we go. Right, okay, so loaded up an episode of South Park. I just want to set this, the frame rate of 30. And um, I'm just going to drop in a preview. Okay, what the preview does is just shows you what's there. So at the moment, you can see it running through, it's getting a bit too fast. So I'm just going to set that back to that. Right, so after that, um, well, how would you determine which one's Eric Cartman? You can do it by the uh, by the colour of his coat, which is an obvious bright red colour. Um, so this software makes it quite easy to uh, to track out different colours. Um, so the way you do that first is by um, changing it into a different colour space. So you can do that with a uh, colour space conversion here. Just connect that in. As you can see with FlexiB, you can just um, you can. You can disconnect, you can connect, it's all live, it works real time. Um, drop in a preview and you'll see it's in a different colour space. If you change the colour space. There we go. Right, the nice thing about this colour space, HSV, is that um, different colours stand out very, very... Um, stand out a lot more than they would if they, you were using, say, RGB or BDR which is what this normally uses. Um, okay so the next thing to do is try and filter out only the colour that corresponds to Eric. I'm just going to pause it there, there just so I've got him on the screen that'll do. Okay so you can see that that's that blue colour there. Right so first, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the uh, thresholding, it's the in range thresholding and I'm going to connect it up. Okay. Normally, if you're doing this, you'd have to like use sliders and stuff to um, find the right location. But I've built in something that means that you can just literally select the colour off the screen. So I'm going to go like that, connect up to that, drop that there, and um, if you then reset to selected, it should automatically arrange all these sliders so that you're going to be in the colour range that corresponds to Cartman. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at that on the preview. Um, I'll just play the video. So you'll see that when Cartman's in shot, yeah, there you go, it's showing up there. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually locate Cartman. So at the moment, it's just showing up as uh, light pixels, where everything else is showing up as dark pixels. Um, and the way to do that is by detecting contours. So I'm going to put a contour detector around him, around on that particular video stream. Um, just leave it like that for now, and I'm going to then preview, uh, and I'm going to um, put a path drawer on the top of the, uh, in front of the um, contour detector, um, and that will just draw the contour that's coming out. So just drop that in there. I shall preview the output of that. At the moment, there is no pass, I'm just going to pause that. I'm going to pause it on Cartman, uh, just so we've got another frame so you can see what's happening. Um, so the video is running at the moment, it's just that it's paused coming out of the video read, um, but the system's working. So, um, for instance, if I put a bounding box there, 
can see that it's putting a different coloured round, random coloured rounding box on the uh, on Cartman's fat body. Um, you can do other things: rotated rectangle, draw an ellipse. Sometimes draw a path. Now that draws the actual contour that the uh, contour detector found. Um, and you can increase the thickness um, and I'm going to select an actual colour to use as well so let's go with a bright red and draw a bounding box there you go, so it's found Cartman there um, and uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run the video and uh, see what it is see how it works so yeah You've got Cartman quite happily. Right, okay, so there's different colours there coming up. Right. Okay, anyway, it does seem that the uh, critters at South Park do use that exact same colour in different places. So, um, in our next video, I'm going to um, talk about how to identify individual features. Of a um, of a region that's found using a contour detector, um, but that's a bit out of the scope of this particular video. I should also be overlaying the found regions back over the original video. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. And um, yeah, this is Flex CV. It's new software that's coming out. You can uh, find us on uh, Appulus.com. You'll see it in the description. Um, it's a great bit of kit, you know very fast and um, and quite a powerful tool this is only one of the things you can do with it there's well millions I don't really know what everything you can do you've got at the moment there's over a hundred elements in the software um, in the future I'm sure we're gonna have thousands because I've, I've built the uh, it quite easy to add new stuff in um, so yeah I mean it's not just going to be for computer vision, I'm also going to um, uh, add in a timeline and some effects so that you can uh, use it for video editing as well. Because um, to be honest I think a lot of the video editing stuff at the moment isn't really as good as it could be. And uh, using, well like connecting up blocks like this is much more intuitive than um, the way that it's currently done. Um, so for example I could, I don't know, give you a demonstration of... Um, of a, um, I don't know, just some effects you could do, I suppose. So that's a bit, a bit advanced. Um, so I'm just going to take this video here and I'm going to preview it again just so I know I've got something there. Okay, and then you could put some kind of motion blur on it. And then preview that again. And give it a bit of learning speed. So it looks like everything's going that is crazy fast. Right, let me sort. But yeah, it looks like they're all off there, not. That's quite a cool little effect. You, know, you can change the uh, speed that that happens at. Um, um, what else could you do? If you want to just take images of a particular frame, and just literally drop that in. Auto number on the PNG. Take image. Bam, 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 bam. It all saves snapshots of that to a file there. Um, you could take some, uh, well, some of the image processing algorithms actually look quite cool. So, for example, if I was to use um, an edge detector like Sobel, and then I put uh, and I'll preview it. You get quite a cool effect. Now, what you could do is you could actually. Um, I mean, that does look pretty sweet, actually. Maybe 
maybe just exaggerate it a bit more. Yeah, that's just me messing around really, but um, you yeah, know, you can connect up anything in any order. So, it's really, really sort of your imaginations as far as this software can go. Anyway, I think I've rattled on enough. Um, I'll come back with a new video later, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'll uh, intrigue you a bit more. Anyway, I'm Rob, and um, take care. Bye.